Doki, Doki, we are back again. Uh, I am at the ninth trainer. I'm going a. It's going a bit better. I will admit. I still ha I still lost my fat bat to the darn prime ape, which, which is kind of annoying. Uh, it seems my prime ape, It seems my fat bat is kind of bad, really, when it comes down to it. But um, other than that, we're doing pretty well. I'm also realizing now that leper berries are a bit glitched in this game. They do heal me, but they do uh, they do display an error code uh, similar to what I've seen in uh, similar to what I've seen in other fan-made RPG Maker games. So yeah, I have seen error codes uh, when using berries uh, when using leper berries on. Uh, you know, on Pokemon, so it is a thing. If it's not a held item, it doesn't. The game is not a big fan of it. So yeah, that's okay. Maybe it's not the best idea, but it. I'm doing okay. I'm gonna heal. I have. Uh, more energy powder. I'm going to use an energy powder on you. Oh, why do you have to have Rock Blast? And of all the time I choose to heal, you have to have Rock Blast. So healing is a horrible idea when you have Rock Blast. I just got to take you down in that situation. I wish I could have actually used... I wish I could have actually healed in that situation. Held, the held berries are actually wor uh, uh, worked out quite well, but, like, I wish I could... Uh, again, I still wish I had a reliable way of healing. And plus two... Just keep going up. If he's not going to kill... I don't think he can kill me. Okay, I'm Max. Beautiful. That's how you beat a Zapdos. Going Max. Dude, I'm Max. I got to sweep... I'm going to sweep you. Okay, uh, I'm going to use an energy powder. Oh, okay. Damn it. I forget about the fact that he's got, got acrobatics and I can't deal with that. Yeah, I'm probably going to lose here again. Unless I can outspeed. I do, I get a crit. I will take. I'm okay. Right, you. I don't really have too many options for this, other than what I'm doing. Because I just lost my sand slash. Electivire. I mean, again, I don't really have too many options for this. I'm going to try and stay in. Oh, yeah, you're going to have if you're going to have a fire type move as well as uh, your electric as well as your electric type moves. It's not going to work out very well for me. Okay, over. I can. There you go. Cool. Outrage was a good play. I'm fully paralyzed. Damn it. Uh, the berry is nice. Outrage. Comes through. Kills the Jolteon. I beat him. I beat him. There we go. 
done it all. And they all just randomly appear back. Hey! You're pretty good. Letting your skills go to waste would be a shame. Come join the league. Uh, you will be doing some honest work and get well paid. And it be it will be enjoyable. Lots of... Um, and lots... Of, and you'll be enjoying a lots of benefits, such as insurance for your team. Uh, and your team can join too. Citizens of Saffron, what you've just witnessed with your very uh, own eyes, without the right training, grassroot tamer groups like this one are unable to perform well. On uh, top of that, just how many of your gangs... Uh, like this have been spreading uh, s spreading chaos throughout the streets. Tamer groups should be held responsible for their actions and uh, should be uh, re regulated by a well-meaning body that cares for e the good of everyone. If everyone did their ple did whatever they please. The streets would never be safe again unless we were able to act right here, right now. My name is Samuel Oak. I am with the University of Unova, an international non-profit organization such as uh, an international non-profit organization such as the League. Okay, our aim is to empower trainers well. Uh, also, while also holding them accountable for their actions. The government will soon approve a plan to establish a nation, a, a national league system so that everyone will have the chance to get a legitimate job opportunities. Hot shot and modest tamers alike. I would like uh, you to please support the government and uh, their in their efforts to uphold the law and create a safe environment for tamers and non-tamers alike. This man is right. We've had enough of these tamer people uh, doing whatever they please. Yeah, these uh, guys have been uh, productively holding us hostage this entire time. The government locked our very capital down just because they had no other way of dealing with this. You're a professor at Celadon University? Wow, you're so young, yet so adept. Uh, it uh, was about time we finally uh, began to modernize. Please help us, I'm tired of this. Uh, fear of living uh, uh, living in fear the whole time. Tetsu. You don't need to relinquish your leader position. Just disband your team and the league uh, uh, and come to the league together with your former teammates. At first, tell me uh, who told you about the characteristics uh, of these creatures. I'm not telling you anything. Fine. Fine. It doesn't matter anyway. Will you accept the opportunity for my offer at least? Think of the opportunities. It's over, Tetsu. Every one of the Tamer groups has been defeated and is disbanded. Please, hear me out, everyone. The League won't uh, be uh, treating people like him as criminals. Instead, tamers who belonged to any sort of group, uh, even borderline criminal ones, uh, will have a legitimate chance for full employment as an official representative of the League. 
to. Nothing is lost for you. You may join the league and become a gym leader. You've got a lot of potential. You will receive an official training at you will receive official training and get to know every everything there is to know about battles. How dare you bring up uh, 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 that after uh, humiliating me in front of the public, uh, in front of everyone? I despise you and your organisation. I don't know how I've humiliated you, except for the fact I kept on telling you, uh, I kept on calling you a coward. But you know, you made me go for at least about ten trailers before battling you, and then you have a zap dose. So I guess you deserve it, really. If you just wanted to fight me with your zap dose, I would have been fine with it. But you made me have to go for this whole ideal uh, ordeal three times, and I only just barely beat you the third time. I'm not giving you anything. I'm not surrendering my creatures. Everyone, we're running. They ran fast. Sorry, Sam. Uh, I was never a good runner. I'm afraid they got away. Don't worry about it, John. Thanks for helping with the plan. Yeah. Uh, we're the best team, don't you remember? Ah. Sam, um, we did it, man. You always come up with the best plans. See, John? If you think things through fullery, uh, execution doesn't differ m that much from theory. Yeah, we showed them who's boss. We're the best team. Sam, you might be a bit weak, but I respect you. I mean, who else can come up with all of this stuff? I've decided I'm going to be your bodyguard. When you become... What is it? Sai... Uh, Sai... Sai... Sai past the... I don't even... Scientist! Scientist! Yeah! Cyan... Scientist! Scientists need bodyguards too, right? No, not really. But I'll, I'll take it all the same. Uh, come on, Sam. Take... You take everything literally. Um, sorry? <laughs> you can uh, how can you be so smart yet so oblivious at the same time it doesn't make any sense well basically intelligence uh, percent uh, per but participation and brain no not that again take this wow For such a wimp, he sure can run fast. Hey, come back here, man. Sam? Sam? Hey! Come on, Sam. I lost you there for a sec. Don't you remember uh, ever... S uh, uh, you... Don't remember ever seeing you space out like that. Are you okay? Um, sorry, I... What's this feeling? Sam, this is getting uh, more and more frequent if, uh, every time. Maybe uh, all this battling is wearing you down. It's alright. Thanks, guys. Now that uh, we're here, we should talk to the governor about all this 
and we need to take care of things like Tetsu and his goons before they become a problem. Wait uh, for me, I'm going to go and see the governor. Governor Ryu, I am honored to meet you. So you're Samuel Oak, Professor Samuel Oak. The government has uh, been rather persi uh, persistent about supporting you. You are too young uh, to have such an influence, really. Who are you? Who is behind Professor Oak? Whatever. Um, I have achieved... Um, I've, I have done so much on my own. Sure, I've obtained knowledge and received help from my superiors, but every single achievement of mine has been the result of my own efforts. Hmm. Are you having second thought? Hmm. Are you having second thoughts because of uh, my alteration with the Emperor's faction uh, rather than uh, the government hmm you know too uh, you know that too you know that too much you know no much you know that much honest honestly I don't care D neither does uh, the organization I'm representing I'm not telling uh, you that we're doing this out of charity. We are making a profit, too. It's a mutual relationship. However, we are no real, real interest. We have no real interests in international politics, believe me, honorably, uh, Governor. Times are changing. Samuel Oak, what are your real motives? You are underestimating the intelligence of our people. On the contrary, actually, now I know that the only thing that's holding uh, you back from uh, dominating in scientific and technological fields is your lackluster infrastructure and adhering to old fashions you've shown you should open up education and employment to everyone that's the only thing you'll ever that's the only way you'll ever achieve progress as you already know Every nation has strengths and weaknesses. It would be a shame to let your intellect and hard-working ethic of these people go to waste. These creatures, your organizations, has been supplying the government with for a while now. What does it all... The, these creatures... What... Uh, I've been supplied to the government for a while now. What does it all mean? You'll have a choice of the. You'll have a chance to defend yourselves in the future, and you have the youth of the nation to thank for that. This is far bigger than a low-level population like me can handle. This is far bigger than what I have ever expected. So, yet, such a weight on your shoulders. I hope you won't be making any rash decisions. He's made several rash decisions. He's got married to a random stranger. He's made several rash decisions. <laughs> what do you want from me? Two things. First, I have taken care of Tetsu, whose former tamer group. He will no longer be terrorizing Saffron. 
you may open up the checkpoints now. Your knowledge of these creatures is so elementary, uh, yet you had to save face by keeping this place under lockdown, right? Well, that's taken care of. I see. So you uh, are indeed the real deal, just like the government has been whispering to me. So, Tetsu escaped with his creatures and his teammates. Once the government signs that final contract with the League, we will send a team to train you and supply you with stronger creatures, teach you about breeding techniques, and a squad to take care of Tetsu. How shrewd of you. Fine. I will support the government on this decision. I will sign it as well. Thank you, esteemed governor. The other thing is, though, is a, a man named... Uh, he's a colonel named Hadro. Um, we've tried uh, evicting the sylphs. He tried to evict the sylphs who reside in the centre of this city. I'm sure you know about the whole situation. Just how much does a foreigner like you know? Have you influenced the government? No. It happened upon the sylphs when I first came here. There was an esteemed... Uh, there was an exemplary attack by the colonel. You do understand that uh, this might escalate into an international conflict, right? You do understand that I am not a citizen of this nation. You, as a population, understand diplomatic matters far better than those war dogs in the army. So please, listen to what I have to say. You have various reasons for your predicament of the Sylph's land, and I understand that. We can uh, cover that. Cover. The Sylphs have assigned an agreement uh, uh, business with the uh, franchise known as the League. We have already supplied them with money as we talk resources and materials uh, from the UNOVA have, are being transferred here. This will uh, be the biggest, most magnificent building in all of Kanto. We are uh, also housing a, a an established a, an es eloquent embassy there, and will be offering rent for the big national business at a significant low price than any native landlord ever could. So free. You. Who are you really? You aren't simply a professor, neither a tamer. Don't worry about me. Um, we will make this building significant uh, uh, fall within the necessary rec the specifications fall within the necessary regiments uh, regulations of the saffron legitimate. Uh, reg registration demands. So we'll keep it up to date. Hmm. You are an interesting man. You've come to neg neglect from a such an absolute persistence of power. You are already covered everything. When I practically can't refuse anything, why do you even bother talking to me. 
We are not thieves. We are transparent about our intentions and actions. As a government official, we have to get your permission as well, Honourable Governor. I'm sure whatever there is suitable mockery in your words. I agree. I will be... I will not involve myself in matters I'm unable to comprehend. Yet, let higher-ups decide about that. I'm glad we have arrived at this understanding. I wish to uh, express their deepest thanks and goodbye. Hmm. Hey, Sam. You talked to him? Yes, everything went smoothly. Now, there's a couple of things we have to do. One, build eight gyms and appoint eight tamers as gym leaders. Two, find a suitable place to build the league as for the latter, I know the right place, but we need to take care of the gyms first. Woo, all right. Uh, time for even more adventuring. I'm going to, uh, I'm looking forward to spending more time together, Sam. For now, let's rest for a while. Route 15 was a pain uh, and we've been battling consistently ever since we stepped foot in Salad on Saladon. Besides, see Sylph's place will uh, be toasty, uh, totally renovated within a couple weeks. Wow, that's a short while. I'm thinking uh, of using it as a base of operations of sorts. You'll have uh, your own luxury suites and all. Woo! From rags to riches. <laughs> um, I guess uh, you deserve it for having uh, me drag you through out this region. Okay, see you at the hotel. A week later. Unova, October 28th. Report. Sir, um, he just sent us a encrypted message. I'm listening. I quote, Fuji is a traitor. Informed Cantorians of attributes requesting situation number two. Wake up, the sleepers in the nation's hierarchy. The plan is to infiltrate rebel movements that demand a regulation league, a regional league independent of the latter international connection, international connections. This will ensure two things. There's an ice cream man. This is the first time that's ever happened in an episode that there's been an ice cream man in my video. <laughs> I hope I don't get copyright claims from the music uh, uh, that is being played right now outside my window. That's never happened before. <laughs> uh, belief in an organized, an organic, in inferral nation movement to remain regain control over league power and defy external control. Two, since it will be integrated by our own agents, there will be no questioning its ties to anything outside that nation's on 
uh, own country. The league will be strengthened as a nationalised uh, niche and normalised national uh, instrument that will appear organic as an organic phenomenon and the result of this will uh, violation and actions. Do not hunt Fuji down. It's his it's his will. He's a mostly harmless. Eve, uh, since everything uh, Pioneer uh, has uh, been telling us about uh, battles, he has uh, been let up to this. Uh, has been a lie up to this point. In a few years, everyone will be following the same battling standards. Fuji's traitorous spread of information will simply vanish in a pool of half-truths and pioneer misinformation. Pioneer's misinformation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. General, sir. Ha. The age of reason will soon give way to the age of subjectivity and the answer to chaos of subject the real leaders of the world will rise above all nations saving them from their self-introduced turmoil and the in a conflict of the belonging identity and purpose he hegets he the age of the new old is here hmm and you are Thank you for all... Wait, this is just named George. I got a better... I should probably go and get a better voice for him because... I, yeah, anyway. Thank you for, for all this information. A breach? A breach? We... Uh, we, of all people, have been compromised? Little Arthur, what did you do to the general? You should know. Some people have already um, uh, already know about your intentions, and now so does the president. We will ex explode. Expect you uh, one by one that we will exploit. I don't even know how to say that. You one by one. My colleagues are waiting for you. Ooh, it's over. Give up. I see now. You are one of them. The disgusting le legacy of theirs. For how long should uh, we have to suffer to pity uh, to your puny existence? This ends now. I already took care of your of your entourage. Uh, don't think of pulling any funny stuff. Uh, so we've got a Hydragon and a Deli Bird here. I mean, I still think the Hydragon is probably going to win because Deli... I mean, that's the Deli Bird knows stuff because the Deli Bird can get a decent amount of TMs that would actually work out pretty nicely for it. So Deli Bird's not horrible, you know. It does learn a decent amount of TMs. You know, yeah, sure, it only learns present by level up, but if you... 
you can fig you can work around that and it gets a decent amount of egg moves too so Dilly Bird's not horrible millennia reach uh, centuries ages it doesn't matter you disgusting people you very obs the very obstacle to uh, human rays must be expo expulsorated you whose madness stands against everything that is true and good whose souls fear the light you will be uh, f brought forth made known laid bare before the world to see the city won't fall even if it takes us another uh, thousand years to find her go forth for what it's worth though it ends right here right now I'm not letting a setback like this, that happen again that disgusting city will burn to the ground there's nothing you can do it will burn it will burn it shall forever burn species base zero two two five evolve evoke dislude action dissolve dissolve devolve what the hell is that no no it this can't be is that delhi the pre-evolved former delhi bird <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna give it the name delhi but like you know with an, uh, with an e at the end because it's a baby delhi bird <laughs> I just don't know what to call it, but I didn't even realise you could de-evolve Pokemon. You shall not, you shall not ever again use one of our own against us. I'm sorry, my brothers. Now everything must fall on your shoulders. Be gone, carrier of the old. Perish like your ancestors. Any Evie Every Enury November first Sergeant Curry uh, Coroner What happened to George? Sir, I'm sorry. I could only imagine to bring his uniform back. And the Pokemon? It's resoluted back to its base form. I helped it escape, but it uh, too took its Pokeball and f uh, but it took its Pokeball and it's fled. It won't obey me. That's unfortunate. In the end, there is, uh, there was nothing you could do, though. Prepare everyone for what's to come. No matter what happens, we have to endure. Misfortune, adversity, and even the worst of the creatures, uh, uh, worst of fates. It all doesn't really exist. We will move forward. And the truth will triumph in the end. Keeper, yes. The keeper, sir, yes. We will find her, sir. No matter how long it takes. Canto, November 2, 2nd. 
Hey guys! What do you think? Sam, this is just incredible! Wow, just wow! John? We're witnessing the future before our very eyes. <laughs> Alright, go and see your rooms. We can rest here whenever you like. Go take a look. And uh, I'll pick up you in a minute. I'll pick you up in a minute. Okay, it's been like 20. Gonna go and get them. Uh, so we can bring our events to go on tour. I should also be thinking about taking a nap with uh, everyone in a while. Ew. Every once in a while. At least I've got a proper bed now. And on that note, we're going to end this two episode uh, uh, thing. So I'm going to split this into two episodes. This episode is going to be like 41 minutes. And then the, up, uh, the other episode is going to be like a couple minutes. Uh, just about 30 or four, uh, uh, 35 in itself. So yeah, I'm going to end this right here. If you enjoyed these videos, leave a like, comment and subscribe. But until next time, I'm Glenn Turner Joe. Me and the Pokemon get to Liza. Everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, then please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe, where you'll get news, thoughts, and opinions from me and the rest of the Lantern Nation. You can also check out these two videos in the top right and top left hand corner. And don't forget to check out Power Zone Metal. It's a weekly radio show where you can listen to heavy metal music and so much more. You can find out more information about that at powerzonemetal.uk. But until next time, I am Lantern Joe, and I will see you next time.